The Gujarat State Petroleum Corporation has been a leading light of the so-called Gujarat model of development. The GSPC was a flagship company of the state government that promised unprecedented economic resurgence. Gujarat Rajana Mantri Tarikena Mara Kartavyo Sadha Purvak Ane Antaha Karan Purvak Bajavish. After Narendra Modi was re elected as Chief Minister of Gujarat in December 2002, in the aftermath of the bloody communal riots, GSPC promised energy security not only to Gujarat but the whole of India. But much of the gas that the GSPC claimed to have discovered in the Krishna Godavari Basin in the Bay of Bengal could not be extracted. The manner in which the company managed its affairs and a number of questionable deals it struck with various firms including companies in the Ambani and Adani groups were adversely commented on by the Controller and Auditor General of India. For a company that had been hyped as a dynamic organization, its finances were in a mess. Despite the criticism of the CAG and the political opponents of the incumbent regime led by the Bharatiya Janata Party, GSPC continued to borrow recklessly and had taken loans totaling almost 20,000 crore rupees. Pradhan Mantri ke roop mein apne kartavyon ka sraddha purvak aur shuddha antah karan se nirvahan karunga. In May 2014, Modi had become the Prime Minister of India. Two years later, in May 2016, it was announced that the Oil and Natural Gas Corporation, one of India's biggest public sector corporations owned by the people of India, was going to bail out the ailing GSPC by buying its stake in the Krishna Godavari Basin project. What was Modi's pride became Gujarat's embarrassment and India's shame. Is this what the Gujarat model of development all about? Or is it all a grand illusion?